morning, everybody. So today we are going to do a Dutch pour um, using the blow dryer. We are using my pouring medium recipe. Um, we are going to do about a four to one ratio. I want it a little bit thinner than it normally would be just so we can get movement in the paint. We are using an 18 by 24 level two Artisoft canvas. The canvas has been prepped with the DecoArt Americana Snow Titanium White. And that is also the white that we are going to use in um, as our background negative space. Okay. We are going to go ahead and get our paint colors mixed. I know some of y'all like to see the paint color mixing. If you don't, go ahead and skip ahead. Down on the bottom, you will see where you need to skip ahead to if you want to skip the paint mixing portion okay so we are going to use our scale this morning and we are going to do a four to one ratio that's actually going to be more paint than we really need So we've got Deco Arts Dazzling Metallics Ice Blue. It's one of our colors. One second. Hunt Sakura. Kiba, leave her alone. Sok. Sakura. Go to Sakura if you want to go outside. Okay, let's go. Okay, sorry about that. Kiba wants to play and Sakura wants nothing to do with him today. So I have to put her outside. With the other two. two. Okay, so we have our ice blue mixed. I always use a scale to mix my paints. Anytime I mix my paints before a painting, I still use my scale to do it because I want to make sure that my ratios are correct and you get consistent paintings that way. Okay, that one was the Deco Art Americana Dioxine Purple. So for this kind of things, you want your paint thinner. Normally when we bring the spoon, the, the spoon, because that's a spoon, the stick up, um, the paint is going to kind of collect on top of the paint before it falls in. But this, we actually want it to, to kind of pour straight through. So I don't think it's thin enough. So we might have to add a little bit of water to each one, but we'll get them all painted first. And then we will add a squirt of water if we need to. I think this is going to be too much paint, but we'll use the leftover for a, maybe a small flip cup or something like that. Okay, this one is the Deco Art Americana Peacock Teal. Apparently kids are walking to the school bus.
All right, we've got the Coral Blush. I know my ratios are probably a little off. Normally I do three to one and it's set, and now we're doing four to one, so they are probably a little off. We've got the Ella Zarin Crimson. I'm going to add a little bit more paint to this one. I wanted a deeper color, and then we're just going to add some more water to it. All right. And this one we're actually going to put in the white because I want a little bit of glitter in the white. This, we are going to use the Metallics Vintage Brass. You're going to grab our water. Here it is. We are just going to do a little bit of water, maybe about two ounces, to really thin it up. That's better. These metallics are so thick. One ounce in that one. And that one's pretty thin. That one needs a little bit of water. You just kind of have to play with it till you get the consistency that you're looking for. Get about an ounce in that one. Last one is our blue, and that one's metallics are always really thick, so we definitely need some water in this one. Don't lay your water bottle on the cup because that's going to throw off your measurements. Okay.
All those are done. I'm going to move them out of the way and do our white real quick. The white we are definitely going to have to put water in because it is so thick. For the white, we did about 12 ounces of pouring medium, about two ounces of the white. We're gonna mix it up really, really well. White's gonna be one of your biggest culprits to um, clump up in your painting because it's not mixed properly, because it takes a little bit longer because white is one of the thicker paints. So scrape the bottom of your cup and bring your stick up and kind of look and see if it's all smooth. So it looks like we have a good mix and we are going to add some water. want to make sure that we have this white mixed really well and that the water's not just sitting on top. So we are actually going to take this white and pour it into another cup just to get a little bit more mixing going. It'll also give us an opportunity to see if there's any clumps at the bottom and then we'll know if it's if it's really mixed. So it looks well, looks good, looks mixed. So we're going to do a little bit more turnover and then we are going to be able to start painting. Okay, just gonna move this out of the way. Another thing you can do is if it's colors that you use a whole, whole lot, you can actually use these containers. I just get them at Home Depot and you can actually pre-mix your colors um, to your ratios, depending on what type of pour you're gonna use it for, but you can pre-mix your paints just make sure before you use them that you stir them up really, really well. Okay. All right. So for those of you who did not watch the paint mixing, welcome back. Um, I am going to tell you the colors so you don't, you don't have to reverse and go through all of that to find out the colors. Oh, sorry, I had to drink some coffee. We have the Dazzling Metallics, or Americana Decor Metallics Vintage Brass, um, Alizarin, Alizarin Crimson, Coral Blush, Peacock Teal, Dioxine Purple, Decor Dazzling Metallics Ice Blue, as well as our Snow Titanium White. And I just realized that we never put our White Pearl Metallics in our white, so we're gonna drop a little bit of that in. I just want a little bit of metallic glitter with that. And then we are actually going to add some of this Deco Art Glamour Dust. 
into our white. to give us a little bit of a sparkle. We are all done. I'm gonna move our paints out of the way, put them back in their drawers and on the shelf. And we are gonna go ahead and get started. Before we get started, um, I found I've been looking for my Emperor's Gold, so I did find my Dazzling Metallics Emperor's Gold. So I went ahead and made up, it's the same ratios and everything, I went ahead and made up a cup of the Emperor's Gold. Instead of using this gold, you can see the huge difference. I really want this one in the painting. So we are going to put this one aside, and we will use it for something else, but we are using a different gold, and it's the uh, Emperor's Gold by um, DecoArt. Okay, now we can get started.
Okay. We are done. Um, I did not like the first one that we did, so we're going to call this one a double Dutch pour. Um, I, I much, much prefer this pour. So the big difference was it was a lot thicker um, on the bottom. The, the colors were a lot thicker on the bottom, a lot more layers, more paint, and um, less white. So I really like the way this one turned out a lot better. We are going to see how it dries. We do have a lot of, we had a lot of movement and stuff in it, so we will see how it dries. And after all of that, still somehow, we've got some open, open sides. So I'm going to work on making sure that all of the sides are covered. And um, we are going to probably leave this one here. I'm working from home today, so I'll be able to check on it throughout the day and make sure it's drying okay and not shifting. And, um, and then we will be back once it is all dried to put our sealer on it. So I'm going to bring y'all down for a closer look. Hi everybody, welcome back. So we are going to go ahead and get this sealed. I love the way this tried. Um, I actually left it on the table until these sides started showing um, that they were dry. And so that at that point in time, I know I can, I can shift it to the drying rack. I don't have to worry about it moving any. So I did take this outside and I did put a, the coat of the Krylon spray lacquer on it just to seal the paint. And also it gives the polycrylic something to adhere to. Um, this is kind of my go-to for everything, sealing paintings, putting on vinyl, um, all of that kind of stuff. It's just, it's just a great, great product. And so the link is down in the description if you would like to purchase it. We are going to be using the Cry Minwax Krylon water-based uh, polycrylic. Sorry, I said Krylon. The Minwax polycrylic water-based. And we are going to use just an all paints and stains, two and a half inch soft bristle brush. Um, I like angled brushes. I do have a, a flat brush, but I like angled brushes better. We are going to do um, multiple coats, just thin, thin coats of the polycrylic. And that, um, the thin coats, as well as having the lacquer to help it adhere, is going to um, prevent cracking from happening. I'm probably going to do three or four coats. I'm only going to film one of them because once you've seen me do it once, then that's pretty much it. So we are going to go ahead and get this started. I am excited about this little spot right here, and this is an up-close shot of it. Um, I think this one I'm actually going to turn into a print because I just love the way it came out. So we are going to go ahead and get started.
we are going to leave it just like that. I'm going to let this coat dry for about an hour, and then I'm going to put my other coats on. But we are going to go ahead and wrap up this video. So I want to thank y'all very much for watching. Um, remember, I am calling this one a double dutch pour. The only reason I'm saying that is because we did um, the first one, and I really didn't like it. So I literally just threw the paint on again and, and hit it with a blow dryer. And so um, I'm calling it a double dutch pour. But basically, it's just a Dutch pour. So, um, again, thank y'all very much for watching. Down in the description below, you will find all of the paint colors used, as well as the mixture ratios. You'll also find links to my Instagram, Pinterest website, as well as Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, as well as um, Twitter, and my website, guidedbyfaithdesigns.net. This painting will be posted um, shortly on my website. I will put the link down in the description. And um, also there's a link if you would like to sponsor my channel. Um, I want to thank everybody again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, and yeah, so thank you very much. And everybody, God bless.